The origins of the Tellarites is so sparse that I've decided to use some non-alpha canon resources. If I only used alpha canon, it would take about a paragraph and more just discuss how the Tellarites happened to be around during the events that more impacted the humans and the Andorians. With that in mind, it's a shame that the Tellarites aren't as expanded as they should be, because their race honestly reminds me of quite a few people I know, honestly. Initially standoffish and prone to insults, Tellarites generally come off as abrupt and crass. However, even though their nature appears to be one of argumentation, they are very willing to help out when someone really needs it. Throughout the history of both the United Earth and the Vulcans, the Tellarites have always been there for them, willing to assist or point in the right direction. Native to Teller Prime, Tellarites would evolve to have poor eyesight but superior smell and hearing. This in large part due to Teller Prime having no true seasons and a constant soft mist on the planets due to the water levels that made eyesight less important than other senses. Tellarites were well known for their engineering prowess as well as being ambidextrous. This made them invaluable engineers in assisting in several different conflicts, including the Earth-Romulan War. A lot of the upkeep of the ships in the early coalition of planets and well into the Federation would be largely due to Tellarite engineers. So again, this is very much B canon, if not C canon, but a very fun piece of possible history for the Tellarites would be the Voice Wars. Their natural aptitude for engineering would ultimately lead the species to try to find the most effective way to do, well, everything. And I do mean everything. Many nations on Teller Prime would try to find the best language, the best way to speak. These nations would craft different languages in different ways and claim that they had the best known way to communicate. This would cause derision and conflict and ultimately lead to widespread war. Known as the Voice Wars, Tellarites would be plagued as they killed one another. The Voice Wars would also include atomic weapons. Ultimately, this would come to a stalemate as the nations of Teller Prime would come to an agreement that no one language could be efficient if they all led to genocide. It would be the genesis of a new ethic for the people of Teller Prime. Instead of one type of language being the best, they all could be, and it would be proved through argumentation. This would, ironically, form a very stable and peaceful government that would unite the Tellarites and shape their society going forward. We don't exactly know when or how the Tellarites achieved warp technology, though we do know it was in the early 20th century. At some point, the Tellarites would enter into a conflict with the Andorians, and it's implied it was due to an Andorian invasion, though this was told from a biased source. There's also some indication that it could have been over religious text and that they were taken by the Tellarites from the Andorians. Unfortunately, there isn't enough information to really know. The next incident of note was when the Romulans attempted to destabilize the Quadrant and cause war between the Andorians and the Tellarites. They did this by sending a drone posing as a Tellarite ship to destroy another Andorian ship. When tensions escalated and an Andorian commander known as Shran challenged what is effectively a fight to the death against the Tellarite ambassador Narg, Jonathan Archer of the United Earth stepped in to defend the Tellarite ambassador and ensured that peace talks would continue. The Tellarites, like the Andorians, would become close friends to the humans. They would be among the races in the Coalition of Planets and among the first four founding members of the Federation. Their expertise would be invaluable. Again, I don't really have much more to the race, and that's a shame because I think it would have been interesting to see, especially in Enterprise, the species built out. But I do think it's safe to assume that like the Vulcans, like the Andorians, the Tellarites would be the first to defend United Earth if it needed it and would always be a steadfast believer in the Federation ideals. All right, guys, that's about all I have for the Tellarites. I uh, told you it was a bit lacking. Stay with us next week when we take a look at the organization that existed before the Federation, the Coalition of Planets. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And guys, I'll see you on the next Lore Reloaded.